it's Melanie Lane again. Here's another video on uploading images in the new Cricut Design Space. So we're going to go over to Upload Image. And in my last video, you saw me upload an Easter egg. This time we're going to do something a little more complicated. Okay, we're just going to browse my pictures and I am going to go right to this one and we're going to keep this as a complex image so it saves all the colors as they are you can if you're not sure which one to choose you can click them all and it will show you what the picture will look like and I want to keep all the colors so I'm going to do this one the complex hit continue now what I want to do is just I want her just cut out like this so it just cuts her out and so I can print it also so what we're going to do first is we're going to crop. So I'm going to just take this and drag it. And I'm going to cut like her boot off right there. I think that's the very edge of her boot. Something like that. And sometimes you can take this crop and do that. But because her arm is the same color as the wall, we have to undo. Can't do that yet. But we can take the erase. I can go up here, trace this, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Like this is the perfect time to shave anything off you don't want. Okay, now I could go back here and click this, and I'll get rid of most of that. And that's attractive right there. No, she would not like that. Oops. Can't do that because it takes away that also. So we're going to have to go in and do the erase. Let's start erasing this right here. Okay, and let's... She has this vest on and it's sticking out here a little. I'm just going to take that off. just so it's a smoother cut and you can zoom in make things much easier and more detailed you just have to have a little patience Now once you get a little bit done that you like, I'm holding down the mouse button. You need to let go of the mouse button. I need to do a little more here because it's cutting in right there. There we go. See, I should have let go on the parts I liked. I need to get in the habit of that. Do what I say, not what I do. And then you can click this preview here to see if that's how you like it. All right, I think it's okay. I'm just trying to go around the edge. Oops smaller and I'm not pushing the button and it keeps doing that but I can undo I'm gonna take this really small and 
just do it here. Maybe make it smaller. Just go underneath here. Okay, now I can make it bigger. And smaller. There we go. Okay, let's see what else to get rid of. Okay, let's preview. It's looking good so far. Let's zoom out. Okay, I think it's pretty good what I have of her. We just need to get rid of everything else. And I'm wondering if I should just get rid of that top finger. I think so. There. Oops. Preview. I think that's better. Let's look at the whole thing. Preview. Woohoo! Okay. Yeah, I think I got everything. Now let's hit continue. And this is Maddie. And save. And there she is. You can see here, here I saved it without the picture. So let's go ahead and insert that. Okay, and here she is. Now, let's say I don't want to print this. If you don't want to print it, it's just going to be a solid image. And it's already set to cut. It always does that when you insert an image. We can change that. We can change it to cut. And that is going to change it all to one color. And of course, you can change it to any color you want. Or you can change it back to print and the color will come back. Isn't that cool? It just takes a little bit of patience. But then once you got it, you can save it. So now we got the image on our mat. And we can just print it and it will cut this all out. It will cut out this inside here. The Cricut Explorer does not print, but you can print it on your home printer. On any printer that hooks up to your computer, if you can print on it from your computer, that's all you need. You don't need a special printer. And if you want it to just cut a solid image, and not print, if you don't have a printer and you just kind of want to cut the shape, you can change it to cut. You click here, just like you would change the color, you just change that to cut. And you can make it any color you want and it will cut it for you. So then if you wanted to just cut it, you just click go and there you got it. You can cut that up. Go back here. If you want it to print instead, you can click print and it goes back. All right, guys, that's how to upload and clean up an image to be printed. In the next video, I'll show you how to upload SVGs. There's something new and exciting. See you in the next video. But first, here's a shout out to a few of the people who support me on Patreon. Alyssa, Shelby Morrow, Georgia Carl, Donna the Quilted Nana, Tara Shoemaker, Donna Wright, Colleen Sergudson. Crystal Williams, and Debbie de Renard. 
Thank you everyone for watching. Love you guys. See you in the next video.